We continue our coverage of the 2025 Defense Innovation Forum in Paris. I am uh, meeting again with uh, Antoine Tournay, he's the CEO of uh, French maritime UAS uh, maker Diodon. You may remember that uh, we covered them when they successfully launched their HP-40 UAS from a submerged submarine in partnership with uh, Naval Group. And uh, I am meeting with uh, Antoine again because they recently participated in the uh, NATO Exercise Task Force X in the Baltic Sea and we're going to find out all about it. Antoine, hi, good to see you again. Hi, Xavier, how are you? I'm great, thank you. So, you participated in uh, Task Force X, a prominent NATO exercise with your HP-30 Maritime UAS. Can you please tell us uh, how it went? Well, the, uh, since we last met, the, uh, the Dayan HP-30 has evolved uh, a lot in terms of uh, capacity and uh, in terms of maturity. So now this product is fully operational deployed in uh, Europe, mainly north of Europe and Southeast Asia also. So it is in use with several uh, forces, Navy forces, Coast Guards. Uh, so yeah, the system is evolving. And so now we are focusing on integrating the systems on more and more types of boats. And the USV are one of the, uh, yeah, the growing systems uh, for the applications at sea, for defense and security. Uh, because the robotization of the naval uh, space is uh, one big question right now. So, yeah, we were glad to be involved in the Task Force X exercise uh, to deploy these systems, uh, integrated on uh, different types of uh, USV uh, from France and from uh, the US, the UK and uh, Norway also. So it was really interesting for us both working with uh, the uh, NATO in general but also with these uh, USV manufacturers from different uh, countries. What is the main benefit of uh, deploying such a UAS from a USV? Well, the Dayton HP-30 is one of the only waterproof, fully waterproof and seaworthy uh, UAV uh, that can be fitted on this kind of boat that are really exposed to uh, maritime uh, harsh conditions. So this drone is really the um, a native uh, sensor for this kind of boat, so uh, we bring it with the uh, well, this capability to float, uh, the waterproofness, the resistance to corrosion, but also the capability to be automatically launched from the USV. So during this exercise, we develop uh, a new kind of uh, launcher, kind of for our drones. Uh, that allows to uh, go full speed with the USV, then launch several uh, Dayton HP-30, uh, enable, uh, enable the, enabling the USV to uh, deploy aerial capabilities, even if it's uh, far away from the shore. Uh, so Task Force X was uh, an exercise and uh, experimentation. Uh, what is next for uh, Diodon regarding this capability? Well. Right now, the, uh, the goal for Diodon is to uh, be able to uh, propose the, uh, this USV integration capability um, well, on the off-the-shelf. Uh, so right now, we are developing the, uh, the launcher to be uh, more and more automatic, uh, so the drone can withstand uh, long, terms, uh, long missions uh, at sea on USV. Uh, so this is what we are working on with the, uh, our partners in France, but also uh, abroad. Uh, and right now the idea is to deploy these systems in the, uh, well, in 2026 with uh, big navies. Very well, Antoine. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yavier.